at Pitt through the School of Health and Rehabilitation Sciences and this week I want to take you through my really busy week in life. So right now it's like 6 40 a.m. I'm about to head to clinical at 7 and I'll take you along. Hi so it's actually about like 10 30 p.m. right now. I finished clinical at 7 p.m. I actually stayed like half an hour later to watch a chest tube being inserted into one of our patients and it was actually really cool because the resident um, was doing it for the first time so it was cool to like see different students um, learn and like we're all at different levels but like everyone is still constantly learning so that was really cool. So something else cool I did tonight was write postcards. So I recently got 100 free postcards through the Sunrise Movement. Basically what I had to do was write um, postcards to registered voters in different swing states encouraging them to vote for this upcoming election which I thought was a really cool opportunity. Say hi everybody! Oh my god! So I realized I never actually gave an update about clinical. So I was at UPMC Presbyterian, also known as Presby. Um, it's on Pitt's campus. It's such a beautiful hospital. And today I was in the trauma unit. So basically I um, helped with any incoming traumas and then also just other patients that may have traumatic mechanisms of injury. So that was really cool. I learned a lot. It was great. So I'm going to try and film this quickly during our break, but right now I'm in cardio and respiratory, which I have every Monday from 1 to 4 p.m. And the first hour we went over our EKG exams that we took last week, and then right now we're going over 12 lead EKGs. So lecture actually got out about an hour early for Foundations of EMS, which is normally Mondays from 5 to 8 p.m. And actually I had a Zoom call for Pitt Student EMS. So Pitt Student EMS is the student club at Pitt for all students interested in pre-hospital medicine. It's not affiliated at, um, it's not affiliated with emergency medicine at all, but a lot of students who are in emergency medicine are in um, student EMS. So I'm currently the vice president slash chief, chief of education for Pitt student EMS. The workshop tonight was about how to submit continuing education credits to the National Registry of EMT's website. This is what the website looks like, and it was a super informative workshop. So I'm currently at Children's Hospital of Pittsburgh. I'm about to start my shift, which is 4 p.m. to midnight, and I'm super excited for the shift because pediatrics is something I'm considering going into in, into the in the future. So I'm super excited to just check it out and see what the um, pediatric emergency department is like. Hello. My, <laughs> my name's Hannah. I'm Ruta. Yes, I'm a junior, just like everyone else. <laughs> Where are you from? <laughs> um, I'm from New Jersey. I'm from Central Pennsylvania. And what's your favorite thing that we learned today? Um, how to intubate in less than 30 seconds without touching the teeth. Yeah, that if you look at the teeth, you fail. Yeah, <laughs> very important. New Jersey. Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Uh, what's your favorite skill that you practice today? Probably intubation with a bougie. Yeah, that was definitely my team. It's kind of hard. Yeah. Just a little update. I had um, clinical at Presby until midnight last night and then now I'm on the way to our seminar day which is for our physical exam lab so we're gonna learn a couple new skills. I'm going to leave um, contact information for me down below as well as information on how to apply for the emergency medicine major if you guys are interested. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this week. I had a lot of fun fil filming this video. Bye!